Hello everybody, uh, this is Lofi, uh, on location at a special friend's house. Um, today we are going to be working with a side of King Salmon. Uh, this King Salmon was previously frozen. Uh, I have already done a lot of the uh, leg work of taking out some of the bones here, uh, but we have just pretty much uh, an unadulterated fillet of king. And uh, what I want to do with this little bit is take a little piece off so we can fry it, and then the rest of it we're going to put on the grill. Um, I do want to leave the skin on a good portion of the uh, grilling salmon because the fat that's underneath the skin gives a lot of flavor when it's uh, sort of applied directly to heat. But I do want to take the skin off of the portion that we want to pan fry just because that's how I like to do it. And fuck everybody who doesn't like to do it that way. So, um, I'm going to take my 12 inch steak knife here, which is uh, far too big and thick of a knife to be doing this sort of application. But, why not? <laughs> We're just going to throw cotton. Machine. Is that a knife or a scimitar? It's, like, Jesus. yeah. They call this a sword breaker. <laughs> no, it's, um, it, it's just a big uh, butchering knife that you would generally use for steaks and stuff. But, um... Yeah, uh, I got it for a pretty good price, which is why it makes up for not having like a $130 fillet knife that I would want instead. <laughs> so, here we go. Um, well, I'm just going to go ahead and make a nice la uh, um, cut here, cross-section cut, uh, to have a good portion for tasting. And that was kind of a nice clean cut. Uh, I didn't feel any bones going through there. Yeah, so... But uh, you can see here, it, uh, it cuts pretty well. You always want to make sure you have a super sharp knife when dealing with fish, especially if you're going through the skin and scales. That is like a really important thing. Yeah, I fucked up fish a few times. Not having sure. It's like yeah. you get through the flesh and it's just you're sawing with the knife trying yeah. to get through the skin. That's never a good thing. Because fish is really tender. The meat is so tender. Um, if you somehow get like a dull knife and you try to cut through this the flesh then it's sort of just going to mash up against um, Any parts it comes into contact with and sort of ruin the rest of it uh, So what I want to do here is I'm going to take the skin off um, I, I sort of just put a fingernail down on uh, an exposed piece of skin because I like to get as much flesh as flesh as I possibly can but uh, if you don't feel comfortable with this, just go like an inch and a half or half inch margin up and uh, you just sort of start working the knife back and forth until you sort of get uh, a good way down into the flesh. And then, um, this is the tricky part, you sort of angle your knife upwards as you feel uh, the knife running against the skin. And this is a nice long knife so I can make a pretty big stroke with it. So I'm just going to sort of angle this one up and cut at the same time. And you can see we got down to the skin there. So, um, one of the tastiest parts of the fish is actually the fat that's right underneath the skin. So if you can somehow manage to do this right, um, it's pretty nice. So, yeah, you can see I'm cutting pretty close to the skin. So I'm gonna angle this blade a little bit closer to the flat surface. And it's nice to have a little bit of an elevation like a cutting board, because you can sort of, uh, get the um, get the skin right against the the flat of the board and this is when you kind of just want to make a nice solid cut there we go and once you're this far and you have a good hold on the skin and you have a nice sharp knife with no scales on the blade you can just sort of pull the skin back and make a nice clean cut with the knife Ah, I did cut a little bit of skin there <laughs> <laughs> which is sort of a bummer and something that can happen with a bigger knife um, it's the belly skin too like when, when the fillet starts to curve a little bit especially when it's been frozen it's a little bit hard to get um, the skin that's right uh, right on the part where the fish curves a lot so this part's a little bit harder to do if you guys are novices this might not be an easy thing, but you sort of just get the knife underneath the skin and you let it do the work because the skin's pretty tough and it's not, the knife isn't going to cut straight through it. Uh, you'd be surprised how sharp of an angle you have to take to cut through the skin. 
um, even though it cut pretty easily for me just now. <laughs> so we're just going to get that little bit of skin off by lifting the knife up as we go. And we didn't sacrifice too much flesh with these. Although if I had three or four fillets in front of me before doing this, this would look a lot cleaner. Um, you just sort of need to get into the swing of things when it comes to filleting fish. So, but all in all, not too bad. We have a great tail piece here. A nice thing about the tail is there's no bones. If you'd like to see how to break down a whole fish, you can come check out my channel. I'm going to be posting a, um, a probably like 15 minute long video on how to completely disassemble a fish from um, just the whole freaking thing. <laughs> so if you'd like to check that out, please come pay me a visit. Thank you so much and uh, happy fishing. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.